Ooh, what is up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to the channel if you guys are new. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about, I got out the trusty whiteboard, but how to actually get traffic to your e-commerce store, to your website, and just the five kind of variables or the five things that I actually use to get this traffic. And we're not in the office today, we're actually downstairs in my living room, just cause there's some stuff going on in the office that's kind of messy right now. But that's that, we're gonna start with the video guys. The information on the thousand dollar giveaway and course giveaways uh, is that's gonna be at the um, end of the video. I just wanna, um, take a chance to like give back to you guys and the family and I don't know, I figured that'd be a good way to start because I, I got started dropshipping right with $30 in my bank account. Some of you guys don't even have that in your bank account. Some guys um, just don't have a lot, you know, to to, to budget with or to, to test, shout outs, all that kind of stuff. So I figured, let's do a win-win, right? And I'll, I'll, I'll give back um, to you guys, all right? So there's five core things that I use to actually get traffic to my e-commerce and other websites, software, SaaS, whatever I'm doing, okay? Um, the first one is Facebook ads, all right? That's one, it's just a typical, Hey, you put money in, you get you get some something out of it, right? It's just a matter of like how well you target, how well you know your audience, um, and, and testing, right? Uh, the second one is Instagram shoutouts. Third one is Instagram engagement, guys. I'll, I'll break down and explain all of these two um, in a bit. Fourth one is organic traffic and how you can actually guys like try and work on getting organic traffic so you don't have to actually pay out of pocket to, to get eyeballs to your site. And the last one is emails, okay? So just to break that all down for you guys, right? So Facebook ads, typical, everyone knows what Facebook ads are. That's usually something that I use when I'm scaling or, or when I'm testing like what are people gonna bite on, right? So if I'm testing products, if I'm testing um, just my ad copy, the visuals in it, I'll, I'll throw a little bit of money into Facebook ads, see what works and then scale up, right? The second way is Instagram shout outs, right? So this is something that I live and die for, for, for Instagram, for drop shipping, right? Especially for drop shipping. Literally what you guys do is you contact influencers, right? Me personally, I usually work with theme pages. So those are, those are also considered influencers, guys. Like I don't always mean people on Instagram that are influencers. I, I usually work with themed pages just because when people follow a themed page, they're literally following it because they have interest in that in that theme, right? In, in the fashion theme, or for example, okay? But if someone's following an actual person, more likely than not, like, they follow the person because they like the person, right? So yes, you can make a lot of money advertising with these influencers, but me personally, I go with theme pages or just other pages that aren't tied directly to a person because I know those people follow it for, for a reason other than they just like the, they like the guy, they like the girl, right? Whoever it is, okay? Third one. Instagram engagement guys and so this is basically what you guys can use on your own Instagram profile to actually get people to your page um, get more eyeballs to your site stuff like that without actually having to pay you know for a shout out or pay for Facebook ads or anything like that okay and the fourth one guys is organic traffic um, SEO ranking trying to get blog posts stuff like that um, to actually start building you know internet traffic that comes to you without actually having to pay anything out of pocket all right sometimes in in cases it can cost money to get it started. Like for example, if you need to like um, contact other people or other blogs or something to write about your site or about products on your site so that you can start to rank your website, right? Sometimes that costs money. But there are you know free ways to rank organically, okay? And then the last one, guys, is emails. This is a really, really under, undervalued, I said overlooked, but both, um, undervalued kind of asset that a lot of you guys have that you aren't utilizing well enough, okay? Emails, guys, they can easily account for 10 to 20% an additional revenue for your store, whatever you're currently making, okay? So that's saying, you, you have information on customers, you have their emails, you have their name, you have all this kind of stuff that you can use, emails primarily, right, to actually retarget them, remarket them, upsell more products, um, keep them informed of you know new products that are dropping in your store. If a product is about to leave your store, you can hit them with a sale there. There's a bunch of ways you guys can use emails and actually convert people through emails without actually having to pay you know, a lot of money out of pocket, okay? Usually what you're paying for is traffic to get to your site so you can collect emails, stuff like that, okay? Like lead generation techniques, uh, giveaways for example, like these are all great ways to actually collect data for those emails and then use them to scale up, okay? Now, with these five ways guys, it's, you can use anything to get traffic. It's just a matter of how you use it and how well you can use it to start scaling, okay? Scaling is what matters, okay? I'm sure a lot of you guys, anyone that's watching this video can get traffic to their store, okay? It's the, the, the problem you guys, I'm assuming, are having is getting a lot of traffic to your store, a lot of targeted, relevant, quality traffic to your store to actually get sales, okay? And that's, that, that's the challenging part, right? And that's also kind of what I want to draw out for you guys is just like this circle that I feel a lot of you guys are stuck in and I mean, it, it, low key, it kind of relates to just life and you know your, your personal stuff in general, right? But this is how you scale stores, right? So for example, for example, right? I'm gonna draw this out, but basically, I drew this little circle, okay? That's the first step of it. So essentially, right, this is your starting point right here on this bigger circle. And what I wanna say is, okay, so this is any sort of traffic generation technique that you're using, all right? This could be Facebook shadows, this could be Instagram shadows, this could be anything that you're using to get people to your website, all right? 
what you're doing, right? What most people are doing is they're, they're spending money on a Facebook ad, an Instagram shout out, anything like that to get people, you know, to their site or something, okay? Right? Then that, that's, that's this circle, okay? There's three circles in this little ring, okay? They're spending money to get people to their site. Now, once they go to your site, say they buy, say they do whatever, you're using that money, okay? to just put back in at, at, at an equal rate, right? So for example, some people, right, and I've noticed that are telling me, hey, I'm not growing my store, my store is like, it's just not doing much, right? What I noticed what they're doing and what you guys probably are doing, potentially is, hey, you're buying, you know, say a shout out for $30, okay? You buy that on one day, you get traffic, blah, 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 you may or may get, you know, a few sales, okay? You get that money back and then you buy another $30 shout out. And you're just doing this little cycle over and over and over again, okay? That's not how you scale. That's how you go down, essentially, just because if you continually use the same Instagram page, like over three months, it'll, it'll die out. But what I'm saying is you're stuck in this cycle where you aren't gonna scale your results by doing the same thing over and over again, okay? What you wanna do, right? Okay, so what you guys see I did, I literally added another ring, okay? So essentially, guys, you are taking, okay? So, so look at this. So you bought the initial shout out here, okay? You get whatever traffic sales to your website, okay? You collect and then you buy another one, right? That's the smaller circle that most people are stuck on, okay? Now what you gotta like force yourself to do and be aware of is that, hey, you gotta buy this shout out, Facebook ad, whatever you're doing, drive into your website, collect the sales, but you're reinvesting all that stuff back into more like additional sources of traffic generation, right? So you're investing that more and more and more into, hey, Instagram shout outs, Facebook ads, whatever you're doing, that's what you wanna do, okay? That's how you kind of grow the circle and get it bigger and bigger, right? Because this circle right here, this small circle, it might only be worth, uh, let's say, $100. So say, say you buy a $30 shout out or something and you only make $100, that's what this circle is worth. And if you just keep buying $30 shout outs, you might only keep making $100 until whatever page you're using runs dry and now you're making less than $100. But then this bigger circle, right? Say, say cause you spent $30 on a shout out, you got products sold, whatever you have, I don't know, an additional $30, $25 to spend on, you know, more Facebook ads or another shout out, an additional shout out. You reinvest all that stuff back into additional traffic generation techniques, okay? So now this circle, right? This bigger circle might be worth, I don't know, $300. So now it's worth 300. Excuse my horrible handwriting and terrible drawing skills, right? Um, I'm not an art major, but um, yeah, so this is the small circle, right? $100. You reinvest all that stuff to get to $300, right? Using whatever paid traffic generation techniques, which I'll go over again in a second, to $300, right? And then you just repeat this, guys. You just have to keep funneling money in. I see people that are just doing, you know, 200 day in sales and they're celebrating. They're, they're spending that money, right? You don't want to spend that money. It's 200 a day in sales. It's really good to start off, right? I was super ecstatic when I was making any sort of money online. But what you need to realize and what I'm trying to show you guys as well is that you can, for, exa for example, right? Say you had a $200 day in sales. Instead of celebrating and blowing all that profit, whatever it was, $80, $100 in profit, okay? On, I don't know, a new pair of Nike shoes. You take that and you reinvest it, okay? And then later on, say later that month, you're actually consistently hitting $500 days, then it hurts less to actually buy those Nike shoes instead of celebrating after your $200 day and being like, oh yeah, I made it, time to celebrate, right? That, that's not what you wanna do. So again, this circle grows and grows and grows because again, if you repeat this process, whatever you're doing in a mix of all this stuff, right? Facebook ads, Instagram shout outs, literally using Instagram engagement, um, like everything I'm talking about, like organic and email lists, all that stuff, you repeat this process, you will grow your circle and your circle until it's like, a, a big circle, right? Until this little portion is worth, I don't know, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 instead of $100 where you started off. And this is literally kind of how I scaled when I first started. Because again, I got started with dropshipping with $30, guys, okay? I didn't spend that on a shout out, okay? Literally, you can watch some of my other videos where I talk about, you know, working with influencers and whatnot. But basically, I started off with a very, very small circle and I had to use that money. I, I, me personally, when I first started, I funneled into more shout outs, right? I didn't touch Facebook ads for a while. Again, that's kind of the status that I teach in, you know, the Shopify Mastery course. Link in the description, always plug guys, check it out. I promise you it's worth it. Um, but that's what I used, right, to start off. And then I went on to Facebook ads and whatnot down the road after I've built out my pixel and whatever. But this is how you start off, like, scaling, right? In any sort of sense. Like, in any business you will ever work with, this is how you start off. You start off with whatever money you have, whatever sales you're getting, you funnel that money back into more traffic generation techniques, more you know revenue generation methods, all right, to make that circle bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until at whatever point it is where it doesn't hurt to take out a little bit, right? It doesn't hurt to pay yourself a little bit, but when you're starting off guys, you don't wanna do that, okay? Because it's really, really hard. It takes a huge dent on your business. For example, three, say you make $300. If you spend, you know, 150 of that, $100 of that profit you just made, you're back to square one. You you just, if you spend $100 celebrating on a $300 day, you spent 33% of your entire store's worth in a day, right? Does, does that make sense? Like, you literally just 
cut your store. Usually they cut the legs off your store. And that hurts your store, especially in the beginning, guys. But if you're averaging, you know, a thousand a day, right, in sales over the course of a month, then it hurts a lot less to take out a thousand dollars and celebrate or whatever you're doing, right? Say you make 30,000 in a month, right? Taking out a thousand dollars, that's, I don't know the numbers, okay? But that, that's, a, that's a lot smaller percent than 33% of 300, okay? So you're taking a smaller chunk out of a bigger pie down the road instead of taking a really big chunk out of a small pie in the beginning, okay guys? And that, that's, that's, that's kind of how you can work on scaling and whatnot. But again guys, going back to these other like traffic generation techniques, right? Facebook ads, what do you do? Uh, how do you, you know, budget scale, all that kind of stuff? Uh, it really depends on your budget guys. And again, that's, that's where I wanna have up with the giveaway I'll talk about at the end, but essentially if you're on a really, really low budget, uh, you can get started five dollars a day testing a specific ad campaign okay i would run multiple if you can so preferably i run five five dollar ones at once so that's 25 dollars a day for an entire week okay so that's what i do if like when i'm getting started with the store okay but depending like now because i have a bigger budget to play with i might do 200 a day for an entire week per campaign okay just like dump a like like a relatively large amount of money see what works see what bites and then funnel more money into what works okay but if you guys starting off at five dollars doing whatever that's kind of how you want to start five dollars a day testing specific I can see what works, see what's not working after that seven day period. Guys, you gotta give it patience. If it doesn't work after like 10 hours, you don't cut it, okay? Like let it, let it kind of go out, let it like waver a bit and like equal out, okay, if that makes sense. And then um, Instagram shout outs, guys, that's like also what I preach a lot. It's basically just, hey, you're contacting an influencer, a person with presence on Instagram, buying a shout out from them after you've vetted their account, make sure they're legit, all the other stuff that I talk about in my other videos on YouTube and everything else in the free mini courses too in the Ecom Hub, the <laughs> second plug, guys. But that's also a thing that you can do. And then Instagram engagement, what do I mean by that? So basically, guys, I'm a partner in this program called Double Tap, all right? And essentially what that does, it's like a virtual assistant for your Instagram account. With Double Tap, guys, and with Instagram engagement, that essentially means you're using your own Instagram page to get eyeballs to your site. So basically, you're not paying for shout outs, all right? You're not paying for Facebook ads. You're letting your Instagram page talk and you're putting your page like out there. If that makes sense, okay? So what Double Tap does, right, not only can you like message influencers to buy shout outs, stuff like that, um, search influencers, search hashtags, search like accounts, search products, all that stuff in Double Tap. Uh, I'll link it down in the description. But essentially, what that does, right, is you get a 24 seven virtual assistant for your Instagram page, all right? What does that mean? Hey, that means you input, you know, the hashtags or whatever you want to target, right? Say you're in the fashion industry, so you're selling bracelets, right? Because again, that, that's my go-to, because that's why I got started. So you're selling bracelets, you want to target these followers of these fashion pages. Your page will interact with them, right? And again, this can go very, very bad or very, very good, depending how you kind of word what you're doing, okay? In terms of interaction, guys, you can follow, unfollow if you want. I personally wouldn't advise for doing the follow, unfollow method, just because the people you're getting are not going to be very, very engaged but what I do is I do a lot of liking all right and a lot of commenting okay so essentially what you guys can do is you have this 20 percent VA on your Instagram profile that's liking commenting all this stuff on users that are like relevant right interested in your product in in your brand potentially right that are because they've already shown interest in the industry in the niche whatever you're selling okay so that's one way to do it that's Instagram engagement guys it's super like, it's, it's probably the cheapest way to get started besides like any of this stuff, right? This stuff is more expensive. Facebook ads, Instagram shoutouts, more expensive. Instagram engagement, super, super cheap, especially with Double Tap. It's, I think it's 57 is the cheapest plan and that's monthly, guys. So 57 a month, that's what? Two dollars, less than $2 a day to get a 24 seven virtual assistant on your Instagram page, right? So again, just with that on autopilot, guys, that's basically saying, hey, 24 seven, you could be stepping away, right? Instagram shoutouts, you have to physically go in, contact them and buy, okay? That could be a daily ritual for you. With this Instagram engagement, stuff like that, it's like a 24 seven hands off kind of way. So it's ensuring you always get some form of traffic to your store. At, at, like at any point in the day, okay? Instagram shout outs, that's more spike, right? If you buy the shout out, the next, you know, four to six hours, you get traffic, right? You get a spike in traffic, right? And then kind of sizzles out after after the shout out kind of goes away, after most people have viewed it, blah, blah, blah. But Instagram engagement, you're interacting 24 seven with that, okay? So you're getting like less traffic, but it's more constant over time, okay? Instagram shout outs, you're getting a lot of traffic over a very, very short period of time, okay? And with Facebook ads, that's just, you have to pay in to get what you get out, okay? So this, this is, you know, this is kind of the go-to for scaling, okay? Instagram shout outs, Instagram engagement, this is what I go to actually build my pixel data, because the people that come from the Instagram shout out and from the Instagram engagement, they're interested people, right? They're, they're potential clients that you want to make sure that, hey, these guys, 
like the traffic coming from these two things is what I want, right? This is what I want to actually visit my site. This is what I want to scale out later because my Facebook pixel is already installed on my site. Then I can scale with Facebook guys later on the road, okay? So that organic guys, that's just SEO guys and that's just a matter of ranking. Um, that's like a whole nother video topic that I will make for you guys. But essentially, there's a few apps just like SEO, image optimizer. There's a lot of these small things in traffic that you can use to kind of help you guys. But the gist of it guys is, hey, if you, you know, if you have a blog or if you are making blog posts on your Shopify site, stuff like that that's relevant, right? That people can go to. And it's, it's not just like promoting your product constantly, okay? This is relevant stuff that, that touches on your product and mentions it, so it kind of nudges people in the direction. But essentially, what you're doing is you're putting content out there that ties back to your brand, to your site, stuff like that, where Google, where all these other search engines can rank your site higher and higher so that eventually, if someone searches a specific search term, they'll see your site somewhere on there and they'll click it, okay? So that, that's essentially organic and just SEO. In terms of email, guys, at the very, very bottom of this whiteboard, I will set that away now. But in terms of email, it's literally just a matter of can you find a way to send people daily emails that are relevant, okay? Because again, there's, there's been test guys, sending daily emails gives you a better return than sending weekly or monthly newsletters, okay? Just because the people that unsubscribe from daily emails, you, they weren't gonna buy from you either way, okay? But the people that stick to the daily emails, eventually, eventually, if you're giving off relevant information, they will convert, all right? So that, that, that's the gist of it, guys. Literally with emails, you can use a bunch of different plugins. There's MailChimp, there's Aweber. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that you can use to build out funnels to that, right? I kind of touch on that. And then the last thing I do want to touch on is Facebook Messenger, guys. There's, um, it's a whole new kind of market that's starting with Facebook Messenger and then um, converting through Facebook Messenger options with you know, different funnels and sequences and stuff like that. Um, but that is going to be a whole separate um, video just because it's a very um, kind of interesting space to explore right now. But guys, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment. Don't forget to um, subscribe, right? I respond to everybody's comments, all that kind of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was... Um, I know it was a bit of a different video than usual, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was engaging and I hope you guys learned something from it, okay? But now the, the giveaway, right? So what am I doing? Basically, I'm giving away $1,000, okay, to a number of winners. I want you guys to actually vote. So in the link below, there'll actually be the link to the giveaway with all the requirements that you guys need to do. It's just like simple stuff, guys, like subscribe, share, whatever it is, okay? Stuff like that, you get entries, okay? And then at the end of the giveaway period, I'll pick the winners, okay? Or the, the program will pick the winners, okay, automatically, okay? So essentially, what I want you guys to do though, also down below, is kind of vote. Like, how many people do you want to win, all right? And do you want me to just to give one person $1,000? Do you want me to give, you know, 50 people $20, right? I'm just trying to help you guys and give back to the community because, again, I got started with very little money. Um, I just want to, you know, be able to help you guys out and um, kind of help you guys grow. So that, that's kind of what I'm doing to give back to you guys and hopefully just do like a win-win. So basically, that's the giveaway, guys. It ends the end of February, so there's like two weeks. And some of the things down below, you guys can do daily to get more entries in the giveaway, okay? But oh, don't forget guys, there is course giveaways alongside the monetary giveaway as well. Just because I know a lot of you guys have been bugging me for like, hey, are you gonna drop a big discount on the course, blah, blah, blah. Um, no, I'm actually going to increase the course price, guys, um, sometime soon, I don't know when. I think once I finalize the zero to 10K in a week challenge, I will up the course price just because that entire series is gonna be completely 100% transparent all in the course um, and stuff to do that. I'm gonna do a zero to 10K series on YouTube as well but literally all the information will be on the course stuff, and I think that'll be super vital. So that might be a reason to increase the course price. I'm not 100% sure yet, guys, but that's the video. I hope you guys enjoy. My hair is kind of weird. Um, leave a like, comment, respond to all you guys' comments, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related, from the mastery course to free PDFs and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.